The name of the project is Arkwright Meadows Community Garden and that came about because the land is between the two schools, Meadows School and Arkwright School. This was derelict land belonging to the education department and people were using it as a walkthrough. You name it, they were dumping it here. And living so close to it, we thought, well, we need to do something. But it was a headmaster from the Arkwright School that came up with the idea to ask the residents what they would like to have done with the land. So we had a meeting and then we had consultation with the people who live around the site and they came up with let's have a community garden. The hard work started then because we had to find funding to redevelop the site. So when that funding comes in, it was a godsend. It was, well, it was an answer to a lot of the priors. <laughs> we do have every age range here from, as you've seen, the nursery um, up to secondary schools and then youth groups. And then we have um, local community members who are on the mini plots. Um, and they range from all different countries. And what's grown here is based on every group that could use it, um, like from the, the, the tropical theme, the Caribbean theme and the Pakistani theme through the planting and the herbs. Right there is like all the cucumbers. Down there's a banana tree. Tomatoes I think are all down there. Down there there's some runner peas. There's ginormous pumpkins down there as well. They want to know everything. What's those? What's those? I says the tomato. Nah, it can't be tomato. They don't like that. They, they're in the box or they're, you know, you have the tomato sauce. I says, all right, go and pick one. And they pick it, try it, get one bite, and they're amazed. And you look on the face of not only shock, but it's true. <laughs> It's gorgeous because instead of buying it from the shops where it's all frozen and that lot, you can just make it in your own and then you feel proud because you've made it as well as it ain't that rubbish because it's your own food. We've had children who nag their parents to buy little uh, greenhouses to, to grow their own tomatoes in, so they've got these little plastic greenhouses in their backyards and uh, they tell us each week what they've, what they've done to their plants and what have you. I've actually learned not to hurt plants because they live in things and you should respect them because they are gorgeous and nice and they keep you alive, so they're really helping you. Um, getting money from the big lottery fund was really good for us for the next five years. We can now build our building blocks to become self-sufficient and um, because as the money we've asked for tails off, we're going to make our own money, be able to pay our own way, which is what we want to. It's a dragon flying in. The greatest buzz is that we have something that belongs to us here in the meadows. The children, the grown-ups, everybody. And to see a wasteland become something like this, it is fantastic. You see some children have just completely changed and they've got a focus. We've got children who, who live for Gardening Club, who live to, to come over and find out what's happening. I'm sure that they'll never forget and take, take their, our memory with them wherever they go, really. Yeah.